At another one, more classic collector vehicles at auction. Stop today to check out some collector cars that are going to be auctioned. This is another sale day where there's multiple auctions scheduled, so I will not be attending this one in person. Just wanted to film around them a little and show you guys. First one is a 58 or 59 Rambler station wagon. This one's got the wraparound windshield. That's how you identify one of the earlier ones. Later ones had more of a triangle shaped windshield. Taken apart, looks like somebody was gonna put a bunch of subwoofers in there or something. Great intentions, no follow through. Then we've got a 64 to 67 Chevy van. This one's been chopped. I'm gonna do a custom job on it. See, they kind of did the best they could on the bodywork, but wasn't all the way there. Chevy V8 installed in it. Potential to finish it into something if somebody wasn't looking for something to be perfect. Back doors were welded shut. Next to it, we got the early Nash Metropolitan. I believe 60 and older, they did not have a trunk lid. This was just smooth rear body portion. So they only had access through the through the back, you can see the little key lock on the seat there. KEYN was the local oldies channel. They played the music of the period that this Rambler is from. Nash Metropolitan was based on British Mechanicals. We have a Firebird here with the T-tops. This is the car that all my high school buddies dreamed and salivated over. This one's kind of in rough shape. Today it's a parts car, 10, 20 years. People probably love to find one in this shape to restore. <laughs> How that stuff goes. Got a Jeepster. It's probably about a 48. Fairly early one. These Jeepsters, they're an interesting, neat, unique vehicle. And I appreciate what they are, but for me personally, I just don't have any... <laughs> any feelings or any desire for them. It's a unique piece of our country's transportation history. You can definitely see the appeal. Returning wartime GIs parked their military jeeps and bought one of these for use and fun. And then the old panel truck here, they've set it on a late model frame. I'm pretty good at guessing what these old vehicles are, but this one kind of draw a blank, so luckily see the Plymouth badging there. We got the old Suzuki Samurai. 
these 80s and 90s vehicles, especially the four-wheel drive stuff, really gaining collector value. Vehicles we grew up in are now <laughs> collector's items. We never, never thought we'd see the day. But here we are. Looks like the raccoons have kind of partied hard in there and torn it up, but next to it we've got the 4678 Oldsmobile Coupe, five window. Cool old rig. Got the Art Deco lettering. Got the light up hood ornament. Pretty solid car, really. All this old natural fiber insulation and burlap and cotton stuffing and everything on a 40s car, you just pretty much figure that as long as you got the hard parts, you can recover, restore what's there. But they do kind of kind of crumble apart. Got the trunk lid in the back. May or may not be to that car. <laughs> Chevelle 300 wagon. Two door wagon's kind of a unique piece. I believe Van was a big volume Chevrolet dealer, the Kansas City area. 300's the base model. Cool car. Basket case, but worth restoring. Here's a very desirable collector vehicle, Chevrolet short bed, four wheel drive. Somebody will love to get a hold of that one. And then we have the Culver International Airport Fire Truck 1, which obviously is a joke. This would not be a fire response vehicle for an airport, but somebody in their retirement likely fixed it up that way, and there you have it. These vehicles will be auctioned in Salina, Kansas. Obviously, sales over by the time I'm posting this. I get so many videos, I don't get a chance to put them all up always beforehand. Just something I wanted to show you guys before they're all dispersed.